We are now less than 24 hours away from the total solar eclipse. Preparations are well underway for the once in a lifetime celestial event. News 10's Anthony Kulikowski joins us live in studio to break down how New York State is stressing safety while gearing up for the major event. Anthony. Good evening, Cassie. Over 1 million people are coming to New York to experience the solar eclipse, according to the governor's office. Places such as the Adirondack Mountains in Niagara Falls are predicting total coverage of the sun by the moon. While here in Albany and Lake George, we will see partial coverage. In a press conference today, Governor Hochul is encouraging safety and everyone to enjoy the celestial event. For 18 months, state officials have been preparing with 29 counties for the solar eclipse. Governor Hochul suggests traveling with a full tank of gas and essentials like food and water as roadways and gas stations are to be packed with eager tourists. Last time there was a major event like this, there were 10 hour delays, people stranded in their vehicles out west. And so we just want people to know that can happen. So be aware of it and plan accordingly. Officials say part of your plan should include plenty of extra time to drive to your destination. State parks under a total solar eclipse and Lake George hotels under partial coverage are seeing record stays for this time of year. This would have normally been a lighter weekend uh, because of the tail end of spring break. We've seen this flurry of activity for people coming and staying over on a Sunday night. So at state parks, proud to say we're 100% occupied uh, on tonight. Uh, and really what's equally uh, nice to hear is tomorrow night we're 93 percent occupied. Hochul also asks that drivers behind on time or not do not pull over to the side of the highway to view the eclipse as emergency vehicles may be hindered. Both state police and tow trucks will be in full force to help with the flow of traffic. We will be ticketing and towing rapidly tomorrow morning particularly up in the North Country. Commissioner Bray says the North Country is in its mud season and to avoid anything other than well-lit trails. No matter where you're heading to view the eclipse, officials suggest planning your route ahead of time. There are parts of the Adirondacks where you don't have cell service. You may not have GPS service if, you, if you're not really sure where you're going. We would want people to stay on major roadways. And don't forget those eclipse glasses to protect your eyes during the viewing of the celestial event. And if you live in an area where you can see the eclipse, Governor Hochul recommends enjoying the view from your backyard. Reporting live in studio, Anthony Grolkowski, News 10, ABC.